What's going on everybody? So I've been out here messing with my machine and I want to do a quick video to talk about integrated beam combiners. I see questions about them often, so let's take a look. So I was out here in the garage doing a routine check of my alignment on my 150 watt Pro and I had just noticed that my red dot was off just a little bit from where my laser beam was. So what I wanted to do is go through and figure out why. So you can see now I've got it dialed in and it's pretty much center and that's right where the pulse actually hits. So I'll hit a couple pulses real quick and you'll see that you know there is the pulse right there in the middle. I move the camera down, the red dot's right on top of it. It wasn't that way. It was a little bit farther off to the left and I figured out why. So come back to the back of the machine with me and I'll show you. All right, so here on the end of my laser tube, you can see that there's this big brass, uh, it's a beam combiner. So I don't know what else to explain it as, but it is shooting out that red dot that you can see there on the mirror. What most people don't understand is that this can still be adjusted. So there are holes here, right there, and same on the other side, uh, if we can get a picture of it. So right there. So there is a, another hole. And inside of those holes are Allen head screws. And those Allen head screws will adjust your beam. So the ones on the sides will actually adjust the beam left and right. Um, so really you can pick either one and it will make an adjustment and adjust the beam left or right. There is another one right here on the front, if you can see it right there that one will adjust up and down. So as you put the Allen key in there, I've got this guy right here. So you fit the Allen key in there and then you're able to, once it finally clicks in, just like that, you can go and turn it and we'll adjust the beam on this one left and right and this one up and down. So if you're noticing that that is off, this is what you need to do. You need to come to your beam combiner that's like this, because if it's one that's separate, it has a different set of screws, but very similar to the back of this thing. So you'll see the, the mirror mount here. Um, if you have a beam combiner that is separate and sits in between these two, it will have screws like this to adjust the laser beam. And that's how you would adjust that one. So if you're noticing that your beam combiner that is sitting on the end of the tube is off, this is what you need to do. You need to go find the screws or the adjustment points that are on your beam combiner if it is different than mine and make some fine tune adjustments. You can even just go ahead and pulse in one spot and then adjust the red dot to match that spot. And so I'm talking about just like I did here. So I pulsed here and then I made sure that the red dot was actually sitting right on top of that. If it's not, then adjust it. So that way it's sitting in the same spot. Any other questions or concerns or other things that you're seeing, please leave them down in the comments. And if you liked this video and it was helpful, please give it a like, subscribe, follow, and we will see you on the next one.